So I just wanted to make a quick video here explaining about the different couplings I've ran on the uh, Franklin Briggs 4 engine there. Uh, I just had a successful run of it. Um, initially I started out with uh, these small uh, jaw and jaw couplings. Uh, actually as it as uh, would have it, it, it was a Lovejoy coupling but I didn't uh, advertise that at the time. I uh, took the stickers off it and uh, you know just because you're not supposed to show name brands and that on YouTube but uh, in the, the initial run there, I only had to go about five seconds, uh, but maybe 20 seconds total before that, I uh, broke the coupling on number one cylinder, as you can see here. Uh, now, <clears throat> in all fairness to Lovejoy, uh, you look at the, the size, they sent me uh, these couplings here. Uh, look at the size difference there, eh? I, I had it way undersized. And I uh, initially thought that this was gonna be a fairly uh, simple project to uh, get going this Franken Briggs 4 here but uh, it wasn't I ran into coupling problems immediately and uh, even uh, wasn't sure if my starter was going to turn over but anyways so before Lovejoy got involved um, I decided to make my own couplings here uh, using steel basically hockey pucks and uh, with uh, uh, plastic in between and the the uh, they were uh, countersunk bolted from each direction. Uh, I ran that on a two cylinder and as you can see it kind of got tore up due to misalignment. But uh, last uh, fall uh, some people at Lovejoy saw the video and the problems I was having with couplings and um, they uh, got in touch with me and uh, did a little bit of an engineering study on their own there and determined that uh, couplings I had were uh, uh, way too small so they sent me these uh, one of the L099s here. and. Uh, as you can see, if you watch the video of the, the Franken Briggs 4 running there, uh, the uh, the couplings uh, worked out just fine. Got I don't know a 30 second run out of it there, and then the smoke started coming off it. And that since I don't have any cooling on the back three cylinders, I had to shut her down. They also sent me these uh, other couplings here. Um, they're quite a bit larger. Um, I didn't actually try them just due to the fact that with the uh, the extra length, I would have to. Uh, change my uh, intake manifolds have to slit the pipes and all that and throttle linkage and all that so but these ones uh, worked out just fine and uh, so uh, appreciate uh, Lovejoy uh, being interested in this uh, unique project uh, the strange thing about it is that it being a uh, engine like this um, they don't all fire at once it's like a real four cylinder it fires one three four two so you get reverse loading and uh, that uh, is uh, wreaks havoc on the couplings because they're loaded one direction and then it reverses and loads the other direction so they're always whipping back and forth so uh, they took a look at it and determined that these couplings would uh, take all the forces and as you can see from the, the video of it running there uh, they did indeed handle it so uh, thanks again uh, Lovejoy uh, Corporation for uh, showing interest in uh, you know a little guy like me on YouTube here with uh, what turned out to be a kind of a complex uh, problem. So thanks again, and uh, uh, anybody that's interested in uh, needs a coupling, uh, look into Lovejoy. They have a, a very large selection. I personally wasn't aware that they were uh, one of the largest coupling manufacturers in the world. So uh, if you have any coupling needs, uh, please uh, look up Lovejoy, and uh, my guess is they can help you out. Anyway, everybody have a good one.